Hi, it's Darren with Smartsheet Guru. My last video was on the new Smartsheet time function. And on that video, I had a commenter present a challenge to me and I accepted it. Here's my answer to that challenge. In the sheet, I have start date, start time, end date, and end time. And using these four columns, I'm calculating the total date time difference in terms of hours and taking that and converting it to days and hours. Let's see what this looks like. So right now we have the same dates and times, so the difference is zero. If I add an hour to the end time, calculate one hour. If I add a day, one day and one hour. If I take this down to say nine o'clock instead of 11, I have 23 hours difference. This also works for minutes. If we were to put 2930, we'll get a decimal here representing the minutes. And I didn't do this for the demo, but you could take that decimal and then calculate the minutes as well. If you really wanted to, you could even go as far as seconds. Now, and this works pretty well, even if we say go to uh, multiple days, uh, six days here, 23 and a half hours, we could put 945, we get three quarters of an hour, and we'll do say, 1500, and we get seven days, five hours, and I have some additional columns here that are calculating the, the days and the hours to make it a little easier to create this string here. Uh, the formulas are I'll show the formulas here. So if you need to pause the video and uh, understand these a little bit better. I didn't spend a lot of time optimizing this and simplifying it. I have a lot of 24 multiplications in here. I could, of course, take some of those out, make it a little simpler. But I wanted to get this demo up real quick, uh, answer this challenge, and just show a quick proof of concept that, yes, a solution exists. You can do it. So that's the difference there. And then the difference in days is a pretty simple formula. And then the difference in hours is really just taking the date time difference here, that total, then subtracting the uh, total uh, days in terms of hours, and then the remainder left over is what you have as the hours. I'm going to continue to develop more um, around this time function and uh, other smart seat solutions, and I share them with my email subscribers. So I invite you, if you want to learn more about Smartsheet in general and follow what I continue to do with this time function, I invite you to subscribe. SmartsheetGuru.com slash time. Thanks for watching.